Hey everyone, welcome to Wild Woodland Lavender Farm. Today is cloudy and it's cold and it's supposed to start raining according to the uh, forecast. And then we're supposed to get rain for about three days. About over 60% chance of rain for each day. So, excuse me, I'm just going into the shop here. Um, I have beans that need to be picked still. So I'm gonna go do that right now, but first I wanted to come out here and check on my Hoopa Gourds. I picked them when, in a frenzy one night because I thought it was gonna be 29 degrees out that night after looking at my phone, and then I realized um, I was looking at the wrong location and it was not going to be freezing that night. So I picked all of these and it almost looks like being out here in the shop is just refrigerating them and not letting them dry out. I need them to dry, so I'm thinking I'll take them into inside to the house where it's warmer and that maybe they'll start to dry out them. I just don't want them to rot. <laughs> that would not be good. So I'm, I'm walking a line here of I don't want it refrigerated, I want to keep it warm, but I don't want them too warm so that they rot. So just trying to to walk the line here so that I actually end up with some good loofah sponges. So this one feels like it's starting to get a little dried out. Ooh, I can I think it's separating from its from its innards in there. I can kind of feel it's a little bit loose right in here. So maybe I'll just keep them out here for a little bit longer and check on them again here in a little bit. Yeah, it seems like they're starting to dry out a little. So, we'll keep them out here for now. Ooh, this one, yeah, this one's really, sorry. I'm holding you with one hand over here. Um, yeah, that one looks like it's starting to dry out too, so that's good, that's good. I'll leave them out here for a little bit longer then. And you can also see here, all of my garlic that I picked. I have, it used to come out to here, and now it's, we've used some, and there's some inside that have been cleaned. So I just need to clean these off still, and um, I don't think, I'm really tempted to not plant garlic this year, because I counted these up last year, and I had like 188 uh, heads of garlic. And that's, that's a lot of garlic, and honestly, I think this will last us probably two years. So I'm thinking I'm really tempted to just not plant any this year and that, that will save some sanity for me trying to get things done. Um, I do want to get like this sliced and dehydrated and um, then ground up to make our own garlic powder. But I think I have enough to do that and still have some fresh garlic to use. It's a lot of garlic. So anyway, let's go check on the goats on our way out to where the beans are and then get to picking beans. Hello. We've had them out here for a few days now and we're getting kind of used to the routine, what's going on. Have them far enough apart so they don't get tangled and have enough to eat. So it's been going good overall. Isn't that right, Domino? I still don't like I still don't like side on. <laughs> I let the lavender Orpingtons out today. The other chickens had a turn yesterday. Like I said, I'm trying to keep them separate because if the once the female hens start laying eggs. Eventually, if I want, if they go broody, I want them to be able to hatch pure lavender Orpington eggs and not barnyard mix like what we have over there. Well, since I'm doing a few updates with the loofah and the garlic and the goats, I thought I'd do another update. Uh, last, what was it, last winter anyway, last fall? We brought home this little beauty, this little farm truck. It's a little, I think, Chinese branded vehicle and it had like an eight foot bed in it. 
And this was gonna be our cute little farm truck for the lavender farm. Well, we have since picked up another truck, which I'll show you. And uh, this was not finished. It needed, uh, it was gonna be a project that Brent and the boys were gonna work on. And um, we had some health issues and then um, just recuperating from that, not, not the sickness that's going around, but other health issues for my husband. And between that and then being busy with work, um, this car just, this truck just never got worked on. And he's just thinking that time-wise, he's, he's not gonna have the time to work on it. So we have put it up for sale and this little farm truck will be leaving us shortly. But, um, you know, we're getting our money back out of it, so we'll be able to invest that into something else. But let me go show you the other truck that we have now. Isn't she a beaut or he? I think we decided it was a he. We're still trying to come up with a name for the farm truck. But this beauty is 1975 Ford. <laughs> Car is driving by. And um, we got this from an uncle of mine. My, he had to move in with my cousin and my cousin was packing up his house and I was helping and I happened to notice this truck and I'm like, oh, is that? your dad's truck and he says yeah you want it and I'm like well actually <laughs> um, because that other farm truck while it is quite cute and adorable it's not road legal and it's possible to get it road legal but we weren't planning to we were just gonna use it on the property but this thing road legal <laughs> it's huge it's got the the crew cab um, it's got the full-size bed, so we can use this for a lot of stuff on the farm. We can haul hay in it, just all kinds of stuff. So, um, pretty pretty keen on this truck. I, I kind of have a soft spot for these these old trucks because when I was growing up, my fa some of my family, not my family in particular, but other members of our family had had these old type of trucks, and so just kind of a soft spot in my heart for these kind of trucks. So I'm excited to have this and hopefully it'll be a nice trustworthy truck. It's been good so far. It runs pretty good and um, I think it'll do a lot of good things for us. So welcome to our new farm truck. <laughs> All right, with rain coming over the next few days and the weather getting colder, I just want to get these beans picked. These are Pinquinto beans and their plants have pretty much died off. 
and their pods are starting to turn. They're not as dry as they normally would be when I pick them. I prefer the even drier than this, but this is better. Um, but because of the rains coming, I just want to get them picked and I'll lay them out to dry in a nice out of the way spot. But I want to get these picked so that I don't have to pick them in the cold rain <laughs> or the colder weather that's probably going to come after the rain. And I also want to get this area opened up for the chickens. So I'm at least especially going to pick the goat or pick the goats. <laughs> I saw the goat out there running around and so I mistakenly said goat instead of beans. Look at that. All right. So I want to get the, at least the beans picked on the inside of this um, pen so that I can let the chickens in here and they aren't going to eat all my beans. I'm sure these flatter beans are going to be pretty much useless. I want them to be nice and fat like that. So I'm just going to leave these flat beans on the bushes. Let the chickens have a little fun with them. What's that? The ghost kept screaming at me. <laughs> and I'll fight on it too. <laughs> I don't care to go in with the ghost because they might land. Oh, they won't. They want to be petted, if anything. You want me to go over with you? My hands are cold. Yeah, maybe you should think about wearing a coat or something outside. It's kind of cold out, you know. <laughs> so Henry wanted to go see the goats. Hello, goats. Well, Trouble, it looks like you've... <laughs> you've wrapped yourself around the post there. Say hi. Oh, Sidon, stop it. Okay, so you just, you just pet her. She likes to be petted. It almost sounded like there was a goat or something down there, huh? huh. And kind of see. <laughs> Why is that one tied to a tire? They're all tied to a tire. Oh. His, hers is over there. She's just wrapped around here. I'm gonna bring her back around. Come on. Here, trouble. Come this way. Bring her back around this way. This is trouble. Trouble. What's that? The, the black and white one is Domino, and the other one is Chess. Yeah. And also... Well, but they said that I think she had it like a chessboard look on her, on her side or something. Hello there! 
Hi. That sniffing thing. <laughs> Why does Daniel fall over a lot? <laughs> the nature of the game. Wait. That's trouble. Trouble chess dominoes. Mm hmm For all three games. Exactly. Yep. That's what that was our goal. That was their goal. To get to get game names. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go back to picking beans. Let these goats get back to eating. Do it, doing what they do best, huh? Well, I finished picking the beans on the inside of the chicken run there. There was a kind of bean that was kind of a flatter, thicker pod. It looked a little bit different than these. And so I actually just left all of those on because most of them were still this, you know, bright green, fresh green look rather than dying off. Um, so I left them there even though I'm going to be letting the chickens into that run. I just want to see what happens with those beans because they don't look like pinquinto pin beans. Anyway, this is my harvest for the inside of the chicken coop. There's still tons to pick out on the outside. So from the inside, I got four and a half buckets of these. I'm going to have to lay these out um, on some paper or something. Just lay them out flat so that they have a chance to dry. And then I can um, shell them at some point after that. So. I think that's it for today. I'm tuckered out again. <laughs> I'm cold. My toes are cold. My hands are cold. I'm going to go put the goats away, take these inside and lay them out somewhere. And then I'm just going to relax until it's time to fix supper. So we will see you next time here at Wild Woodland Lavender Farm. Bye. <laughs>